Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today, it's our final mock draft of the preseason. His next se- next week is all talk about week one. So here we go, final mock draft. We're going to do a 10-team standard. Make it pretty simple. That's pretty much our main standard. Is still my favorite, so we'll do standard league here. Jeff, second pick. I have the seventh pick. Ugh, not loving the seventh pick. I'm the and we get to pick our own on this. I hate <laughs> it. Normally, now the second pick has become the best spot instead of three, like it was with Zeke. So this is gonna be an interesting situation. We have 30 seconds before we draft time. Jeff, who are you taking? You're taking Beller Johnson, whoever's yeah. there. Yeah, whoever, whoever's <laughs> not taken. Before we get into that, make sure you guys check us out on Twitter at the FF Profit. Fantasy Football Profit is on. We're on Instagram. FantasyFootballProfit.com is the website. If you want to get in a little auction draft of our own, email us. Get get to us. We'll be doing it here very very soon. So if you want to be in our little auction draft, we'll do it before the season starts next week. Get email us. You know, send us a message on Twitter, Instagram. We'll get back to you guys. Here we go, Jeff. Whoa. Right? Is that crazy? All right. Every, just when I think I've seen everything, Antonio Brown goes number one. Antonio Brown. So Jeff has to make a decision. It's probably David Johnson. I'm just going to guess before he picks it. I think I'm going to throw everyone off. Maybe he goes with pick. Melvin Gordon. Maybe you're going to throw everybody off and pick David Johnson. David Johnson. It's David Johnson. I mean, this is this is a little interesting. There's actually queer, it's usually when we go on, we're on Fantasy Football Calculator. We used to go it was against computers. There's people in this one. So hopefully they don't just screw us up too bad. But that was a actual guy out there picking Antonio Brown. He just might, must love Antonio Brown. So Le'Veon Bell did go three. We're waiting on the fourth pick. We'll see. What are they going to do? What do you think? What, do, what would you pick here? McCoy. Yeah, we'll go McCoy. But I have a feeling Julio will go. Actually, no, I mean, I think Odell. I think that's who's going to go with this one. You really? I mean, yeah. the injury, people are starting to, you know, not pick Odell now. So I mean, I wouldn't pick Odell. But I think that's what's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. Julio. Julio. Hmm. I won for the Dark Horse, and it did not win. Yep. So McCoy at five. If I had, oh, shoot. I'm sitting there at seven. I'm just hoping. If McCoy keeps falling. This is standard. So the people picking Antonio Brown, did they not know we were in a standard league? I mean, what le- I mean, I, Antonio Brown, I know how good he is, but I think in every standard league, you have to take the running backs. Melvin Gordon, number five. He went ahead of McCoy. One more pick before me. Well, the, Could McCoy be there? Do you think it's going to happen? No. But so if, say, say McCoy is picked right here. God, I who have. Who would you be going for? He then? did pick. He was oh, picked. McCoy, yep. So this is the. Oh, this is the situation I hate. Guess what I'm going. Evans. Green. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. I don't care about the injury. I was going to say I don't either. This is an interesting thing because I don't like to go. Wide receiver round one. I do not. But I and a lot of people they think we want to go running back heavy. You just pick Freeman here, right? Freeman to me is not on the same level as these other guys. So I drop him down. I know how good he you know he's good, but I think Odell is just that much better of a talent. And being here at seven, coming on the turnaround, I think I can get a really good running back in my second round. So that's mm-hmm. kind of what I'm looking at. I don't think I'm gonna miss out on much. Mike Evans went number eight. You probably would have picked Evans then over Beckham. That's your your, I your guy, but I, would have, yeah. I do have, and then Freeman went number nine. So that is one running back. There's still going to be now four picks before I go again. One, two, three, four. Yep. There's a Jai out there running back wise. Demarco Murray, Jordan Howard. Those are the three one. I, out of the, I want one of those three. One of them just went. Jai. So there's three picks before me. There's two running backs I want. What are the chances I get one, Jeff? This is going to backfire on me, and this is why. This right here. Is why I pick running back. Zeke went. That's a little early. Wow. Were you, Man, pick, are you picking Zeke ahead of Demarco Murray and Jordan Howard? Yeah, that is that is early. I was actually going to ask you at what point would you actually think about taking don't Zeke? Even have to, don't even have to worry about yeah, it. We don't have to worry about it. I just want Demarco Murray or Jordan Howard here for my running back because after that it goes down to the girly Fournette, mm-hmm. and I might actually at that point be looking at AJ Green or Jordy Nelson. I might go crazy and go wide receiver, wide receiver. Never done that. So see how it works out, I guess. It's 
going to be... We all know how it works out. (laughs) I don't think it works out well. (laughs) I think this is going to be A.J. Green right here. Okay, A.J. Green went. So, I'm going to get one of my backs. But which one, I don't know. I have a feeling, hmm... I'm going to go, if I have the choice here, I'm going to Marco Murray over Jordan Howard. I know you don't agree. Two picks in a row you haven't agreed on. But you don't, you're not off by a lot on them. No, no, no. These people, come on, make your pick. Let's go. You know who you want. It's First round, Jordy Nelson. Went. Okay, so easy for me. DeMarco Murray, that's who it is. I'm still picking him over Howard right now. I just If he stays healthy, I think the workload's there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pick him. I mean Jordan Howard's a close second. It's not like I'm that much of a difference for me between those guys. Michael Thomas went after Murray. Still, that's, that's a more reasonable spot for Michael Thomas. Seen him in the first round in some leagues, some drafts, some people drafted him. One of our one of our listener leagues, he went in the first round, which is a little high. Yeah, I think I think you're reaching there. I mean, maybe you're worried that he's not going to come back to you and you want to get him. But I mean, I think it's a very hard well, sell to say he's better than. Any of the four that went above him? Yep. Well, well I mean, there's actually... at this point, Dez is still there, so you definitely would be picking Dez yet, and maybe you oh, yeah. that. Maybe you'll get that chance. You got Brandon Cooks just went. See, there we go. There's the Brandon Cooks reach that I got. <laughs> and Todd Gurley. Oh, yeah. Jordan Howard falls me, but he, he doesn't. Oh, that would be wonderful for you. No, he did not. Oh, one pick before, of course. But this is actually. But Brandon Cooks going early. That's what I bother. If you if you want to know why I'm so bothered by this, just listen to Wednesday's episode. I think it's a mistake. I really do. After a cookout, when Gurley and Jordan Howard. So Jeff's sitting here. He has Des Bryant looking at him. His wider his running backs would be Fournette. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about taking Fournette, but in this one I have a quick turnaround. Do you think? And I, I guarantee myself Des. So I'm going to draft Des, and then I know I'm going to get either. If Fournette comes back to me, that's awesome. No, no. Well, <laughs> one pick before. So two times, one pick before your guy went. It went Gronkowski, then Fournette. And now I have something to think about. But even here, I, I did that because I don't – yeah, exactly. So I have Lynch, Corral, McCaffrey all thinking about it. And Art could go Mark Cooper, which I like. But in this one, I think it's better to go – with the running back, so I'm going to go Isaiah Crowell. So Crowell is now your number two behind Johnson. Not not a bad little combo with Dez. You're really all in on Dez this year. If if Dez hits, you can just throw it in everyone's face. Well, especially yeah, if there's somebody from our main league listening to this. Which my guy, man, I, I cannot get any more hate from a guy that is always good year after year when he's healthy. I, I don't know what it is with everyone. You got a couple people hating on you for that. After, my after, gosh. It's not just one. So after Quowell went, Aaron Rodgers was picked. So early third. I I see him go there. It's not I don't think it's a reach. I don't I we picked him in the back end of the third in the draft we did before, so it's yeah. not a reach. And he's not gonna get another pick for a while, so yep. I, I get that. After that it went Amari Cooper, then Christian McCaffrey. One more pick before I'm up. I'll probably be looking at the running back here. Which Yeah. I have to, so <laughs> now it just becomes which interesting running back do I want to take that I don't really sold on. Doug Baldwin went, so it's up to me here. The running backs on the board are Lynch, Dalvin Cook, Lamar Miller. Wide receivers, might as well take a look. It's T.Y. Hill and Keenan Allen. I like those guys, but I feel like I need the running back here. Jeff? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Lamar Miller, I know you don't like it, but I don't. Back into the third, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So you, okay, but you then you trust Miller more than you trust Lynch. That's the diff. That's the thing. I don't trust Lynch right now. Mm-hmm. Lynch went one pick after me, so I'm sitting here. Jeff has two running backs of David Johnson, Isaiah Crowell, and then his receiver of Dez. By me going wide, running back or wide receiver in the first, I get my running backs of Demarco Murray, Lamar Miller. So Jeff has me beat at running back in both positions. I probably haven't beat at wide receiver, but I don't think by more than you have me beat at running back, if you look at it that yeah. way. That's the problem with getting the wide receivers in the first and being that many picks back. If you're in those top two, you just like, it just, it's set. And it, it also matters, I mean, obviously I would take Beckham over Des, but it also matters who we get in the second wide yep. receiver position. I think it's, it's lined up well for where you are compared to me, too. It's just, I agree. There's a few guys that are still on the board that I really, really like. Yep. After Lynch, it went Dalvin Cook, T.Y. Hill, and Kareem Hunt, beginning of the fourth. That is called the reach, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. I, I, okay, I get it. I get that he's the guy there. 
But Spencer Ware, there was the guy there last year. And what did he do? Yes, yeah, Spencer Ware is not a special talent. I don't think Kareem Hunt's a special talent necessarily. He's a good player. He could be a very good player. If you're a special talent, you're not being the sixth running back off the board in like the third round. That's just not happening. It's. I don't think he should be drafted ahead of C- Joe Mixon here. But yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, you still have Mixon, Montgomery. So went Brady and Hyde. And you know what? I'm going to go with... I get my pick off. Keenan Allen is my number two wide receiver. Your SOB. Yep. Stealing my guy. So I kind of like that a lot more when I get Keenan Allen as my number two. And once again, I don't put a whole lot of stack in preseason, but he did get to play. He looked, he looked good. healthy. He's looked good. Once again, he caught a few balls. I would have thought about Joe Mixon there as a third running back, but seeing Keenan Allen sit there, I just I like that pick a lot. All right. So Mixon went, Terrell Pryor went, Ty Montgomery went. One more pick before Jeff's up. He might look at the wide receiver. Demarius is out there. Alshon's out there. Oh, man. They always feel like Jeff picks, don't they? So DeAndre, yeah, they do, <laughs> and they are. So. Or the the running backs. Ooh. See, it's CJ Anderson. It that's it's CJ Anderson, Amir Abdullah. It's like kind of those kind of guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a wider. DeAndre here. Hopkins went pick right there before Jeff. So fourth round, Jeff's gonna go with so this is a question. Demarius Thomas, or, or he's gonna go Jeffrey. for Alshon Jeffrey. I I don't know. This is a toss up to me, really, at this point. Yeah, you um, might be able to get both of them. You only have two picks before you. You really could. And you might because the running backs there aren't anything special to me to get. For this one, I'm actually going to go a little safer. I think I'm going to go Demarius Thomas. And I, then... Um, Alshon went right after. Alshon. Then Devontae Adams, another Jeff guy, if we <laughs> could say it. <laughs> You're up again, Jeff. What are you going to go with? We both got two running backs, two receivers. I have an interesting player to pick here. Maybe you go with them too. Yeah, I could go with. I could even throw my hat in and go tight end. That's early. what I'm thinking. I fe- I, fe- I just have that feeling, and especially that now. This feels like a Travis Kelsey time for <laughs> Jeff right here. You know, if, if I know, to, uh, this is one of those because situations this is, where well, this have, is this is the time where I'm you two don't and two, and, and, and you don't love the players there exactly, right? And you love Travis Kelsey. That's the, this is where you pick Travis Kelsey if he's there. I think, but I'm not telling you what to do. You only have five seconds. Yeah, I'm going to go Travis Kelsey. Okay, it just felt like the spot to do it. Because the players there, you're not in love with them, right? It's just yeah. kind of, and this is a two running back, two receiver league. So we both, we already got our spot. We got a flex left. Exactly. So whoever I had was going to be on the bench, which is totally fine. There's a few guys I would really love to have. But at the same time, I'd rather have Kelsey starting every single week. Yep. And I, I think he really is that much better than any of the other tight ends. Otherwise, I would just wait. Yep. But in the fifth, I think that's a great value pick. And Jordan Reed went right after yep. Kelsey. Then Drew Brees, and then C.J. Anderson, which I've warmed up to C.J. Anderson a bit, but then Jamal Charles went and looked pretty good. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. what? I still don't think Jamal Charles is going to very going to get a big workload, it's, but it's, he's an interesting player. I got one more pick before I go here. This is an interesting spot. Tyreek Hill went, so it's up to me here. I don't like this position at all. This is where I really just. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of this spot in the draft because I don't like a lot of these players, and I feel like I'm reaching on a lot. I don't know, but I, I feel like a lot of them are pretty good. Why is? Hmm. I feel like the. Uh, I feel like the order is kind of crazy. I think Doug Martin looks a little high on the one that they're showing, but yeah, I think so too. What I'm going to do is interesting because I have an interesting team compared to what I normally do. I'm going to go with a third receiver and go with another safe guy. Get a Michael Crabtree. Just because I don't love, I mean, there's a couple wide receivers I could have gone. I could have gone with Martavis Bryant, who just went. But I've picked Martavis Bryant a lot, and I wanted to go switch it up and get more of a safe guy. Greg Olson went too, then Martavis, then Allen Robinson, who was another option, but I've been picking those guys. I just feel like Crabtree could be a better option. At, at, I don't know. It's more of a want to switch it up. Robinson, I think, has more higher ceiling. Martavis Bryant obviously has a higher ceiling, but there's, their floors are a lot lower too. Then Gillisley just went. I'm just I'm not loving Gillis. I, I like him, but not for this round, not yet. It's just I, was, I mean I actually disagree. I think he's good in the sixth. I was actually hoping he was going to get back to me. Well, just because after that it really does drop off. I, I like I like Abdullah here. So yeah, I don't think he's going to make it to me. He's he's because um, I'm up. So yeah. <laughs> I'm picking Abdullah here as my third running back. Which this team is so much different than anything I've ever drafted. This doesn't look like a team I'm used to. Which I kind of wish we could play this team out. I'm kind of curious about it. <laughs> Before I picked Abdullah, it went, um, Doug Martin went there, and then Calvin Benjamin. What do you think about Doug Martin in the sixth? 
I guess it's okay. It's just I think that's. I mean, I think that's. I think it's. A, I, I think it's guess. high. Uh, right, it feels a little high. Especially, would you have picked him ahead of Amir Abdullah? Ahead yeah, of I mean, Mark Ingram, who just went, then Matt Ryan went, then Peterson went. Both Saints running backs there. I still don't know what to think about the Saints situation. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, and I, there's been no clarity at all on it. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of the whole thing, especially now that... Uh, Powell just went, now Jeff's up. Camaro looks so good. Now this is... I'm going to have to reach on this. I'm telling you, these, these rounds are terrible, right? Like There's players here, but they're just... You feel like you should be getting better players, but they're just not left yet. And you're not ready to start getting these other guys. If you, no, you know? I'm not. And no, I'm going to to switch it up again. I'm going to reach. And this is not usual. But I'm going to reach here and get Devontae Parker. Ooh. Just looking at it. Like that. So take a little chance. But I think you shit. have a – you can do it. Maybe. You're not going to get the pick, Jeff. You're going to miss it. Oh, God. <laughs> Why was he going up? After Parker, it went Derrick Henry way too early. I wanted Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have Jarko Murray. All right, so then Derrick, Derrick Henry, Carr. then Derrick Carr. That's early for Derrick Carr, okay, too. Once again, I'm staring at the same exact people, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reach once again. It, and um, I hate snake drafts. <laughs> no, I'm actually reaching on this one, and there's a couple of guys I like down here. But after getting a little more clarity, I think Rob Kelly. Ooh, again, another guy I was looking at there. Yeah, is another is a very good pick in round seven now, knowing that P. Ryan hasn't been looking very good and he's going to be the starter. I took him over the likes of McFadden, who probably will get half a season, yep. um, and some of the other guys. I like Tevin Coleman down there too, but he's a backup. So, so after you picked Kelly, went Golden Tate, Brandon Marshall, Stephon Diggs, a little wide receiver run. I got one more pick before I'm up. I know who I'm picking if he's there. I'm just hoping he's still there. Well, you can tell me because uh, I can't get him. Can't tell you. <laughs> Tyler Eifert just picked that. Was not my guy. So my guy is a wide receiver. Tell us more. Tell us more. Look at the wide receivers, Jeff, to see. Can you figure this one out? Can you figure mm-hmm. out? Please don't break my heart. Is it Watkins? Good old Sammy Watkins. Dude, you're in love with Watkins. I don't understand it. Seventh round, I'm really in love with Watkins. He's my fourth. <laughs> Sammy Watkins is my fourth receiver on this team. Okay, that's true. Odell Beckham, Keenan Allen, Michael Crabtree, Sammy Watkins. I love that. Okay. Love that. As a fourth, I'm totally fine with that. I, I can't buy into Goff yet, so that's my... Sammy is going to impress. I'm telling you. My running backs, Martin Murray, Miller, Abdullah, yeah. LeGarrette Blunt went after my pick. I hate that pick. I'm not a LeGarrette Blunt guy. Tell I'm going to keep. How, tell me how you really feel. Oh, <laughs> he's terrible. Jimmy Graham, Jameson Crowder, Terrence West. Not a Terrence West guy either. Jarvis Landry, Marcus Mariota. I'm back on the clock. I have all kinds of players I can pick. I have four wide receivers already. I have three running backs. I should probably look at running back. Hmm. hmm. Look at that. Spencer Ware is on the list. You should pick him. This is another guy I haven't picked at all. But I'm gonna go with Tevin Coleman. Dang it! As my, he's gonna make it to me. Yeah, my fourth as a fourth running back. If there's an injury at all to Freeman, he becomes just a terrific option. I think so. I'd go with him there. Russell Wilson went picked after me, which I picked Russell Wilson so many times I just couldn't do it again. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of all in on the Russell Wilson bandwagon this year, and I don't know how that happened because when we started talking about we really started talking about the season a couple months ago, I don't feel like I was. The Russell Wilson guy, but it happened somehow. I think because I went against him, I <laughs> Maybe. think you just took the opposite position and you talked yourself into it. After that, it went Darren McFadden, Martellus Bennett, Eric Decker. Jeff's back on the clock. Don't know what he's going to do here. He has so many options he could do. He could get himself a quarterback. He might pick Jameis Winston. He might wait. I feel like I, I, I'm going to wait. He won't be. He might pick Paul Perkins. He might, he might do that. He also might pick Willie Sneed. That could be a good Jeff option right uh, here. I'm actually going Larry for Fitzgerald. another Maybe running back here because I wasn't falling in love with anyone. Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead. So I, I feel like I'm I'm good with running backs now. Yep. feel like I have depth there. Then uh, Paul Perkins went. Larry Fitzgerald went. Now Jeff's picking Willie Sneed. Uh, probably. I don't know. We'll see. You can pretty much pick talent at this point and who you like, who you want here. So. Actually, yeah, I will. And once again, it's just kind of a rock and a hard place. The other person that I was looking at that I know Craig will probably pick up on the way back <laughs> is Eddie Lacy. Oh, yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> so I am taking Willie Sneed. I like his, uh, I'll love him to have him <laughs> on his bench. I think I'll be able to use him a lot. So I think he's a great pickup in the ninth. Yeah, I am looking at Lacy here. And then obviously a computer took Spencer Ware. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> hey, 
you do? What are you going to do? You should update it. But no, it's based off where people have been drafted in the past. Actually, it's a, it's a good one. How do you feel about McFadden? He went in the middle of the eighth. You know what? Okay, if you if you are not a Zeke owner, I, I don't I don't agree with it. I don't think you need. I don't think it's a good pick because McFadden will be good for a few weeks, and he probably be really good for a few weeks. But you're going to lose him, and then I mean, I guess at this point, there's not like there's that many options. But even Paul Perkins, I might rather have him because he could be he should be a full season starter. You know that kind of thing. There's not a lot of options in this draft. He didn't go too crazy, mm-hmm. but in the drafts where he goes like sixth round, I think that's nuts. I don't I don't see the point in that. Because, I mean, I, if you're not the Zeke owner, I don't think you should do it. And even the Zeke owner, I don't know if you need to do it. You probably, you probably should, but don't reach, I guess. You know, I just, I don't I don't like the situation. I, that's what I don't like about getting Zeke is I hate having to get McFadden. After Spencer Ware was picked, when Delaney Walker, Frank Gore, I'm on the clock. Eddie Lacy came back, so I will take Eddie Lacy. Because not as I still like Eddie Lacy. I just don't know about the situation now. But as my fourth running or fifth running back in the ninth, I'll take him every time. After that, Jameis finally went. Then Emmanuel Sanders. I might start looking at a quarterback coming around here. Kirk Cousins went. I think I need to start looking at a quarterback. Here comes the run. It's maybe we waited one round too late. No, there's well, still we, we we'll get a decent option. Well, if you look, I think we're the only two teams that don't have a quarterback. So we could yet. just wait. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait because I still think there's enough players here that I like. Yeah, I'm going to wait it out as well. O.J. Howard drafted. Wow. I, okay, so this got weird. <laughs> so O.J. Howard, then Jonathan Stewart. I don't yep. have any problem with that. Jack was Rogers. I think that's a little high for him because uh, yep. who knows what's going to happen to him after week four. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's And it's Craig with 20 seconds to pick. And who is he mm. going to pick? Who are you leaning towards right now? Going with a little player I've been liking this year, and I like the offense, Randall Cobb. There might be a bounce back. Might be a bounce back. As my fifth receiver, I'll take that. There's actually some wide receiver options I like here. I I agree. This is where the wide receiver options start looking good again. You're like, oh, wait, I love these guys as my fifth receiver kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. There's... Dante Moncrief still here. We've kind of all we've kind of dropped on him a little bit from where you were early season, but not like a lot. No, I still like. I mean, especially down here. I, yeah, I really here like great spot. Ertz just went. I had thought about Ertz there at seven too in the seven, the, not the seven in the tenth round. We're in the tenth round. Ertz, that's a that's solid. I like Ertz, but I've been kind of waiting. Deshaun Jackson went. If you've listened to us at all, you know we we are never getting Deshaun Jackson on our teams. So Andrew Luck went. Thomas Rawls. I actually thought about Rawls there, getting Lacey Rawls back-to-back, just to wrap that up, but I didn't. Jeff's up. I think he's just going to pick the best talent he sees available. And there's um, there's actually a few people I really like, but I think I'm going to go with Jeremy Macklin. I think he's a very safe wide receiver, and I think, if anything else, he would have trade value as well. Um, and that's just bolstering whoever, you know, who I already have. So basically I have... Des and Tavares to start it, and then I have Devontae Parker if he blows up, and then yep. Willie Sneed Macklin as my kind of security blanket. After that, went Cam Newton, and then Denver defense. Just come on. Okay. <laughs> and this is, I have a lot more wide receivers I like, but I don't necessarily need any more. do you have? You already have five. Yeah. So I don't yeah. need them. And so in this position, either I need, Basically, I'm going to go, this is where I'm going to grab a quarterback because I really like Phillip Rivers, and he's the best one available. So I'm going to take Phillip Rivers in this position. All right. And I didn't have to grab until round 11. So. Yeah, not bad. That's decent. After that, Kansas City defense. Cameron Meredith, the same team that picked Spencer Ware and Andrew Luck. I, I mean, I, I don't know. And the Houston defense. Why are the defenses going? I know this is a mock draft. It's online. It's one of these things that it's hard to say why they're doing it. That's just thing. There's no point. I won't mind. Okay, we always say wait till the end, but if you wait till like this, not the last round, not the, even the second to last round of defense kicker, yeah. one round before maybe. Like that, if you did thirteen, yeah, like something like that. That's that's fine. Okay. The New England defense just went. I'm sitting here on the clock. What do I want? There's a lot of guys I could pick. Could finally get my tight end. Sure, I'll do my tight end. Hmm. 
Kyle Rudolph. It's either Rudolph or Hunter Henry. I'm going to go away from Hunter Henry here. He's still out there in round 11, which is nice, coming around round 12. If you would have known that early, would you have picked Kelsey yet? Probably. Yeah, probably. The guys are just there. It's great. Dante Moncrief went. Ben Roethlisberger went. Corey Davis went, which I, I do like Corey Davis on here. I think, I mean, you don't get drafted in top five in the draft if you're not some kind of special talent. So I like him a lot here. So I got my tight end. I still have no quarterback. I'm probably the only team in the league without a quarterback if you look at it. I, I mean, I have to be, right, at this point. Some teams have two quarterbacks. A lot of teams have two quarterbacks. I have none. You're the, you're the last guy. Just holding out. It's happened in more than one draft this year that I'm the last person to get a quarterback. I just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. John Brown went after Eli. Seattle defense. I'm back up on the clock. I have some options. The quarterback options are there. I like... I think I gotta I gotta pull the trigger on quarterback now. I can't I can't see if one of these guys gets picked. So I'm gonna go Stafford, the highest paid player in the NFL. So <laughs> I, I could basically it's him or Dak. That's it there. I don't I'm not a big Dak fan necessarily. If I didn't get Stafford, he might not make it back to me, and I'm gonna be stuck with Andy Dalton, and I don't want that. So I had to go Stafford. What are you looking at? What are you thinking about here for this next pick? Because this is kind of now just filling your team at this point. This is point. filling my team. So so. Chris Hogan, Tyrell Williams, and Marvin Jones just went. I like all three of those wide receivers this late. Yep. Um, so that's very good. Here, probably a little bit of a leap of faith, but after seeing him play. Jamal um, Charles. Yep, Jamal Charles. So <laughs> I'm taking the, the flyer and Jamal Charles, knowing that I don't really need this spot necessarily, and if he turns yep. into something, I'm, I'm golden. Yep. No, it's, I think down here it's a good pick. And then Jamal Williams went. Samaj P. Ryan went, who I'm cooling off on quite a bit. <laughs> Once again, there's a lot of a lot of wide receivers I still like, and I don't need don't, one. Don't don't do it. I'm just gonna don't, take. Don't do it. I'm gonna take Corey. Don't Coleman. do it, Jeff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did you want Coleman? <laughs> yes, as well? I wanted Corey Coleman there. I knew what you were gonna do. We have done this podcast too often. I knew exactly what you were doing there. I wanted Corey Coleman to wait one more round for me. That was my pick. I wanted Corey Coleman. I should have just. I, I couldn't pick him there. I had to go Stafford. So, so at the at the thirteenth <laughs> round, uh, that's a great value. And then Dak Prescott went one after him. Then Jordan Matthews, and Hunter Henry. Henry in the thirteenth, which I absolutely love. Oh, I'm so disappointed right now. Corey <laughs> Coleman to me is so, so by far the best player on the board there. Oh and, man, and now it's only and now Craig is up after Matt Forte was picked. Oh, I'm so disappointed right now. So disappointed right now. <laughs> you have no idea. So who are you thinking uh, right now? Are you thinking? Throw caution to the wind and go defense kicker. No, I don't even know how many rounds we got in this draft. We got two more, 15, right? 15 yeah. right? I wait one more. So you have three more picks. Yep. And you took a Zay Jones, your son. Hey, so should have, should have just picked him. Yeah, and I, I could have got home. Huh? Yeah. Adam Thielen went Minnesota defense. Kevin White, Goskowski, Tucker Prater. I'm up on the clock. Now kickers are going to. Have a run. Hmm. I'm going to go Pittsburgh defense. And the reason for that, I believe, let me pull this up before I say anything and I'm wrong. <laughs> Do they play the Browns week one? They play in week one a team. But oh, so they do play. That's they, good. they play in week one against the Cleveland Browns. I, I knew that had to be I I had had a, the reason I was picking it. Like, I had a feeling. <laughs> And I don't really expect much from Deshaun Kaiser, especially week one. He actually hasn't looked, I mean, I don't think Deshaun Kaiser's looked great in the preseason. It's just kind of, they're giving him the job by default there. Yeah. So He, he looked better than what I thought he was going to. Cooper. He struggled in college yep. in Notre Dame. Yeah. So, but at the same time, he looks okay. And, I mean, who do you have to pick from? Osweiler. Yeah, Osweiler. Just, oh, my gosh, man. How, how, how far deep, like, deep down can he <laughs> take himself? After I bet Pittsburgh, Cooper Cup went, which, okay, Cooper Cup is something. <laughs> All right, Jeff, do you you might like Cooper Cup? Maybe I don't know. I don't get the Cooper Cup thing because you know why? He is the third wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams, who have Jared Goff as a quarterback. So how can you be down on Sammy Watkins and think anything of Cooper Cup? Come on. Yeah, I get. I get where people. I don't are reaching. I don't get it. And the fourteenth, I get it because I don't get it. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be the receiver, the the security blanket for is he? You know, Goff. How know. do we know? He caught a few in because he went to he went to a FC FCS powerhouse, <laughs> Eastern Washington. 
Oh man, I yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to trying to find some here, <laughs> right? Or did I get that wrong? Uh, I don't know college football, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, Jeff picked Arizona defense. We're just defenses and kickers at this yeah. point. Julian Edelman just got picked. That's just why I don't know. Mason Crosby is your kicker. Yep. You know, really, Cooper Cup, though. Come on. I mean, he's a third. Maybe, maybe he becomes a number two. Maybe he passes Robert no, Woods. No, he doesn't do that. But see, but what's, he's not draftable. No. I'm, I don't get it. No, I, yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. They, he went to Eastern Washington. Too much, you're putting too much uh, too much emphasis on preseason. When yeah, I saw him actually do do a couple things that were really good. Was he better than I thought he was going to be coming into the league? Yeah, probably a little bit. I, don't, I still don't think he's anything too special, and I don't think he's going to be worthwhile starting. I mean, how long? I mean, not to mention Tavon Nelson's still there, right? Yeah. So he's a number yeah. three guy? Yeah. I, so when's Cup going to play? That's my thing. It's I, just, I don't get it. I don't get the Cooper Cup I don't thing. think he's a bad player. Not a, I just not, but not in a 10 team league. It's oh, not, yeah. it's, he, I, he should I, be drafted. I don't, I don't understand it because everyone's so down on Jared Goff and they, all this stuff, but I mean, why? Why is he being picked? Yeah. Cooper Cup should not be picked over. Those other two guys. All right, though. so I ended up with Jankowski. So we've looked through some of our teams here, Jeff. What do you got? What's your What's your roster look like here? I I really love my team. So at the helm, get off of there. <laughs> <laughs> at the helm, I have uh, Philip Rivers as my quarterback, and then my running backs. I have David Johnson, the number one player in all fantasy, and I <laughs> couple him with Isaiah Crowell, who is also a top ten running back, and then. Uh, for my wide receivers, I have Des Bryant and Demarius Thomas, both solid, large and in charge wide receivers. They're going to be um, there for me whenever I need them. And then I have Kelsey um, yep. as my tight end. So right away, all those guys are amazing. And then I can figure out who I'm going to put in my flex position. And that goes either one of my wide receivers, who are Devontae Parker, big upside, Willie Sneed, Jeremy Macklin, Corey Coleman, or... I can go with one of my running backs, which is Rob Kelly, who is the starter, Danny Woodhead, who is the starter in my estimation, yep. and Jamal Charles, who is a flyer, but he has all the upside in the world. Um, and then, obviously, I have uh, Mason Crosby, Arizona defense, go, you know, the honey badger. Yep. How about you? I got Stafford running the team with DeMarco Murray, Lamar Miller running back, which it's okay. That's nothing special, but that, that that's okay, I think. Those are... To me, they're in, we rank them in that range, too, but we never like to get those two, and we don't get them ever together. That's just a weird combination when you look at it. I think it's still, it's still it's solid. It's solid. Yeah. Wide receivers, I got Beckham, Keenan Allen, and then Crabtree, Sammy Watkins. I don't even know who I'm going to play at my flex because I have options of Crabtree, Watkins, Amir Abdullah, Tevin Coleman. There's so many. I have a lot of options on the flex in this team. Tight end-wise, I went Kyle Rudolph. Should be a decent option. Not special, but decent. And then just filled it in with a lot of different guys. You know, Eddie Lacy's there, Randall Cobb, those kind of players. You know, Zay Jones would have rather had that be Corey Coleman. But what do you do? It's a solid team. I think that could have been a good team. I don't really see anything looking around the league. Yeah. I mean, is there anything that really stands out at you? I mean, the, the team 10 there, they got a Jai and I'm, Zeke. But they have Hunt to play now. T.Y. Hilton and Robinson eh, could be. Jameson Crowder's the third, Kirk Cousins. That team has some potential. There's a lot of potential teams here. I don't see anything that even worth. The other one I like is a, a, a Team 3 RS. They have Le'Veon Bell, then they went Jordan Howard. So incredibly mm-hmm. strong. Very and good. then you went Aaron Rodgers. So you have that. Yep. Uh, but And it's, if Jordan Reed, that's their that's tight end. Too. If he stays healthy, then they look really, really good. And if they get DeAndre Hopkins from two years ago, and if they get Golden Tate from the last half of last season, they get Eric Decker from a couple of years. I mean, yep. there, there's... There is, is a potential with that team. Yeah, but. you just have very high-end players, and then you have a bunch of guys that you're hoping are. But I, I think that's what waivers are for, too. Yep. All right, I think that's it for the final mock draft of the year. It's always fun to do. But we I might actually have one more draft to do. Auction draft. One in. Email us. We're not posting this one like we normally do, so we just want people, we want this to be completely listeners only. So email us or message us. Get at us. We'll start an auction league. We'll get it done here before the season starts. What next Thursday? Or is that when it starts? How close are we here? When when is opening opening game here, Jeff? Yeah, right. Yeah, next Thursday. Right. That's crazy. So as of this point, we are less than a week away as this podcast airs. So that is wow, almost here. Yeah. So we have to get that auction draft going get, right now. Get these in. We'll get this. We'll probably be drafting early next week. So get your 
you know, want in, let us know. We'll get, get this going. We'll talk to you guys next week.